And right when I'm in the middle of a rant, my alarm goes off and then this whole thing gets cut off. It's over, it stops. So now I have to record another video to finish this. Like, it, it, it's so stupid, it's so immature. Like, of all times to do this, it had to be now. When I'm pissed off and I'm catching on to everything. <laughs> so, I'm gonna tell you what you need to hear. Okay? What will make you happy? What will make you win? Because that's how bad you wanna win. You'll do anything to win. All right? You win. I lose. Okay? Does that make you happy? No. Nothing makes you happy because you're fucking miserable. You're so miserable that you would rather see everyone else miserable. And the minute you see someone happy, you want to you want to shit on it. And that's what you do. Because misery loves company. You can't be miserable by yourself. You have to have company. And you wonder why you've been cut off? You wonder why you've been called toxic? Yes, this shit is toxic. Fucking toxic. You've been lied to. And you're still doing the stupid shit. You've been lied to. And you're still doing the shit. You've been warned. You're still doing the shit. You lost. You're still doing the shit. So you know what? You're gonna die. You're gonna fucking die. And when you're dead, you will be destroyed. Because that's not enough for you to die. The same way it's not enough for me to die. You will be destroyed. So guess what? It's going to happen to you. You're going to die. You're going to die next week. So you'll know what's coming to you. And then when you're dead, when people celebrate because you're dead, that's what's going to happen. They're going to pretend to be sad, but they're really celebrating. I'm going to be laughing at you because you're dead. You're finally dead. You've been warned, but you didn't stop. So now you're dead. So it's your fucking fault. Now you're dead. And that's not enough for you to be dead. Your soul, or whatever you're made of, because you're not from light or love, fucking darkness, evil. Okay? You're a fucking angel. Who refused to believe that you can be controlled. Who refused to admit that someone made you God. So you went dark. You're a fallen angel who went dark. Well, guess what? You can't change who made you. So God's going to destroy you so that you won't exist anymore. Destroy you. Like body and soul. Everything. So you have no existence. No consciousness, nothing. Lights out. Black. Forever. Permanently. Yep. And then it will stop. That's what it takes for you to stop. For you to stop existing. And then it will stop. That's how stubborn you are. Well, guess what? That's what it takes to kill you and destroy you. First you die, and then you destroy. So then there's nothing left of you. You stop existing. And that's what you get. And if you don't believe me, you're going to find out next week what's going to happen to you. You will die, and then you will get destroyed. And then lights out. Nothing. Blank. You're going to find out next week what's going to happen to you. So if you're not afraid... Uh, you will be after you're dead, and then you will be destroyed after you're dead. And all this because of some stupid win. Yeah, you destroyed yourself, your existence, over some stupid win. Yep. So that's how bad you wanted to win. You were willing to destroy yourself, your existence, over this win. That lasts, what, like, not even... A fraction of a second? So you just traded your existence for a fraction of a second. For nothing. Not even a blink of an eye. For nothing. 
that's how desperate you are and that's how desperate you've become because when this is over you're gonna realize that yeah you fucked up bad you're willing to destroy your existence to win and guess what i'm still protected nothing's gonna happen to me yep while well, you stop existing I'm not giving you a warning. I'm telling you what's going to happen to you next week. You've been warned and you didn't listen. So I'm telling you, you have one week before your death. So you can choose to enjoy your last week or you can choose to continue with your attacks. But it's going to stop when you're destroyed. It's going to stop in one week. Yep. It's like you can't, you can't. Messing with me, you kept messing with for real until you just piss someone off. God's pissed off. I'm pissed off. So now you got God and me pissed off at you. So you're gonna get to see how pissed off we are. You're gonna see God's wrath. You better run. You better fucking run. Because when when God's mad, he's pissed off. You have not seen wrath until you've seen God angry <laughs> you think the devil is scary oh uh god be the devil so if you think that's scary oh you haven't seen scary you haven't seen anything compared to the kind of fear you're gonna have when you see this shit next week god's wrath that's scary and it's all for you so first you're going to see how scary he is, and then he will destroy you. Yep. So you wanted to see a bitch? Well, guess what? She's here. This bitch is here. Yep. Any remorse that I had, put away. The Queen of Cups, she's, protect she's put away. The Queen of Swords is here. She doesn't give a shit. That's what you get. No remorse from you. No remorse from me. So keep doing that shit. And you will stop existing next week. For real. Keep doing it. Keep up with the attacks. Keep up with your spell work. Keep up with your hatred. Keep giving me the evil eye. Keep hating from a distance. Because you know you can't even come near me. Because I'm that protected. I have a fucking army protecting me. You can't even come within a mile of me. That's how protected I am. And that's how fucking determined you are to destroy me. How? How are you going to destroy me? How are you going to destroy me? You can't even come near me. Oh, so you're mad? You want to fight me? You can't even come close to me. My army will fuck you up. Why am I going to fight you when I can have a million beings fighting for me? A million versus one person. You. You're not even a person. Demon. A million angels, ancestors, guardians versus one demon. Yeah. That's how you're going to lose next week. And when you're dead, that's not enough. God will destroy your soul, whatever you're made of. All right? You will stop existing. And then it's over. And let me remind you how powerful God is, okay? In a snap of his finger, just like that, he destroys a billion of you, just like that. Oh, you're mad? Oh, you forgot that someone made you? Well, let me remind you. God made you. Your powers came from him. Yeah, that's the truth. Let me remind you again. He made you. If he made you, he can destroy you. Yeah, so keep, keep up all the stupid attacks and all that stupid shit and cheating and lying and, and spell work and all that shit. Worshipping the devil. Really? The devil that was made by God? Really? Really? <sighs> so let me finish this reading. Because that's what I tend to do before I got interrupted. 
and you caused that. So I'm pissed off because it's still happening. <laughs> so you know what? You have a week. This is your last week. So you can choose to enjoy your last week existing or you can keep attacking until you don't exist anymore. But you have one week. All right, let me go ahead and interpret these cards. So you have a female. So I'm gonna say she, unless I'm going to say, to say he or they. All right, so she's strong and she has to be strong to be in that role. She's so strong that she looks like a lamb but she can handle anything that comes her way because she's that strong. So evil people may try to take advantage of her because she looks like a lamb. <laughs> looks like a lamb. Keyword looks like a lamb, but you have a beast underneath that. So if you piss off that beast, you will get a beast and that beast will destroy you. <laughs> so the Six of Cups is about the past, memories, nostalgia, all that. So she is thinking about the past. And um, there's been a lot of people in, from the past that she had to cut off because they weren't on her side. They were against her. So she just had to cut them off to protect her energy. And yeah, those same people also put her through hell. They made her feel rejected and out in the cold. And yeah, but that's reversed. So the opposite of five, five of Pentacles is abundance. And the same people also made her feel regretful, but that's over now. So the opposite of regret is hope. And that's clarity because yeah, the Queen of Swords is here. <laughs> So she, she brings truth and clarity. And there's no need for her to wait because that's reversed. Um, she is going to get a new love. I mean, she gets what she wants. She just wants to be happy. And if a new love is going to make her happy, then that's what she gets. Um... This person is going to think before they act. And this person is going to be honest because the Seven of Swords is in reverse. And she's dealt with people like that before that were fake, dishonest, her enemy, all that, right? But that's over now. That's reverse. So now they're honest. So this new love is honest and thinks before he acts and that's going to be her justice and um she's gonna be she's she's free from this prison that other people created for her they tried but they failed so now she's free and um this new love will also recognize her value and that's why they're going to think before they act and this new love is going to be honest. So this new love will also be honest with how they feel. So time won't be wasted. And um, she's also getting external guidance. So she's getting internal and external guidance. Um, she's starting over. And um, she wants to be with someone that she has a connection with. And in this case, because of the lovers, someone that she has a spiritual connection with. And this connection is protected by an angel in the middle. That's number six. And it's still a choice. So even if this person is, you know, her match, um, is compatible with her, someone that she should be with, all that, right? But if 
this person is not willing to take a risk, then she's going to move on and walk away from that because she's not going to waste any more time waiting. Yep. She gives them about a month. And if they don't make a move or recognize her value or do anything to show that they're interested, then she moves on and she walks away from that. And because of this, yeah, she knows that somebody's been trying to affect her ability to see clearly. And that's reversed. So two of swords reversed is like two ones. She's able to see clearly when making this a decision. So that's not affecting her. So whoever, whoever said that will get that. They'll be torn. And, um, ooh, stag. Trust and thrive. Yeah, go stag. <laughs> Be alone. Yep. Go by yourself. Do it, by, do it on your own. Do it alone and be free. That's what I'm getting. And Archangel Michael says, ask Archangel Michael to help you with the situation. Yes. That's what he's saying. Ask for his help. And with children, this says your love life is being affected by children. Yeah, it's being affected by children because there are people acting like children. They're acting childish, immature, and stubborn. Yeah, so you're surrounded by children. And what do you do to children? You put them in their place. Yep. You remind them who they are. And you remind them who you are. Yep. And that's how you put them in their place. And my intuition. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> so somebody's trying to place a burden on me. Look at that. Ten of Wands. I knew it. So that's blocked and reversed. So those burdens are released. And someone is trying to cause conflict. Still. With the five of ones. So that's blocked and reversed. So the opposite of five of ones is peace. So I get release and peace. Yep. Alright, um, what else? There's time for one more card. Alright, what else? Oh my god, none of swords, really? Look at that, stress. But because it's already been blocked and reversed, the opposite of stress is peace. Look at that. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. New opportunity. Page of Wands. Being excited about something. Ooh, the Emperor. Yeah, taking back control. And the Four of Pentacles reversed. Yes. It's like, there's no need to hold back. Just share it. For real, share it. What are you afraid of? And that's what I'm getting. Okay. Right. So um, having said that, I hope I helped you in some way. And I will talk to you again soon.